Hello, my name is Chandra Farley, and I am the Just Energy Director at the Partnership for Southern Equity, a racial equity organization based in Atlanta, Georgia, and a member of the Rural Power Coalition. What started out as a 90-minute webinar has been transformed into a six-part mini-series to let people like you know why rural electric cooperatives are critical to the fight for just and equitable clean energy. We will talk about the Rural Power Coalition's $100 billion retire and reinvest campaign that can help rural Americans just like you. We will also talk about how you can join this movement for rural power. Episode one was all about the history and founding values of electric cooperatives. In this episode, we discuss racial equity and why racial equity in energy is critical to our movement for rural power. Without further delay, here we go. What we are seeing here is one of the many cases uh, that racial equity in energy is so critical. It's also worth noting here that 80% of these 90% of persistent poverty counties are listed in the South. And when we're talking about persistent poverty counties, we are talking about areas that have three decades or more of persistent poverty. And so when we're talking about just energy and energy equity, we define energy equity as the fair distribution of the benefits and burdens of energy production and consumption. And what you are seeing here, another uh, you know, spotlight on the South where we post some of the highest energy burdens in the nation. Um, there have been times when Memphis, uh, Birmingham is now in the number one spot, Atlanta, Nashville, many of these places are posting energy burdens and our rural areas are seeing energy burdens upwards of 30%. So we're talking about folks spending a third of income on their housing, a third of income on energy bills, we begin to contextualize the really oppressive conditions that many folks in our rural communities are facing when you've also got to consider gas for the car, food, you know, money for the groceries, money for prescriptions. So one of the things that we like to say here at the Partnership for, for Southern Equity when we talk about policy is that Policy is a reflection of the values of people in power. And we say the same thing about budgets. So what we see as demonstrated here and what we see on many of the EMC boards, particularly in the South, boards are not representative of their constituency. And one of the coalitions that PSE convenes along with a few of our partners here, Appalachian Voices, KFTC and Shiva, who you see in the chat, comes together to address this, where we focus on democratizing rural electric cooperatives. And this work is all about educating, activating, and organizing with member owners. First, to make sure that they know they are member owners. They're not just rate payers. They can run for the board. They should know and have the right to know when board meetings are. So really have a clear, direct line to the democratic process of managing these EMCs and their investment. And so I like to um, refer to something my friend uh, Chris Woolery says here, and he framed this well, the type of catalytic investment that we saw in, you know, with the, with the New Deal, back to Bree's really strong photo of what America looked like before and after that electrification, is the kind of thing that we know the New Deal changed our nation. But we also know that the New Deal left many communities behind. So as we push for the same and greater type of catalytic investment that we saw with the New Deal, three things like the Green New Deal, three things like the transformative policies that we are pushing for through the Rural Power Coalition. We can today ensure with partners like us and others at the table, making sure we have an equity lens. So we know that this time, we have investments that are centered in an equity frame. So our black communities, our rural communities and communities of color are not left behind again. And I will. So I hope you enjoyed webisode two and learning how racial equity is important to realize just and equitable clean energy for rural electric cooperatives. The key takeaway from this session is that racial equity is important because it is the process of eliminating racial disparities, which improves outcomes for everyone.
Equity allows us to prioritize measurable change in the lives of Black communities, rural communities, and communities of color, so we are no longer left out of the benefits of the clean energy transition. Please stay tuned to social media and check your inboxes. The Rural Power Coalition will be sending more content your way. We'll also share action opportunities to advance rural power. See you soon.